Hi, I'm Dave Hobbs, and here's a tech tip from my program, Fred Takes the Wheel, all about ATIS, Advanced Driver Assist Systems. Now, we're going to talk about backup aids. They've been around a long time, but they technically are part of the ATIS family. They're usually ultrasonic, although Ford has used ultrasonic sensors in like four different spots and a rear short range or medium range radar. So most manufacturers just use the ultrasonic and some of them are not on the data bus. So there's not much you can do. We're going to give you two tech tips, one for I'll call the smart parkade system and one for the less than smart parkade system. This one's a smart system. It's on the data bus. We've got an Autel Maxisys connected and we're looking at two data parameters for the sensors plus the parking aid system status, sensor status, and rear tone status. They all are saying active, and we are seeing some numbers for the right. In fact, I'm going to step away a little bit, see the numbers change for the right. I'm going to walk closer to the right. So we go from a default of 2.55 meters to something in the millimeters, centimeters, whatever. We see a difference, though. So we see a remarkable difference, and the closer I get, the more that number changes, all right? So that's one way you can do some detection. Now, if it's not on the bus, doesn't set codes, you can't see data parameters, another method is to use a lab scope or a stethoscope. Now, my, my colleague Ryan Coyman from Standard Motor Products uh, introduced into another video how to check with a stethoscope. It's pretty easy. You can hear some audible sound. If you think about it, some manufacturers actually call these sonar sensors. Not because you're underwater and you're checking the distance and proximity of submarines and other ships, but because it's sound and sonar is sound. But be more precisely in English translation, that would be ultrasonic. It's super high frequency. I want to say 20 kilohertz, something above my hearing range, but a stethoscope can magnify that. You'll hear a buzzing and clicking sound as Ryan demonstrated in his video. What I'm going to show you is a little step up from that. If you have $25 to $30, I think that's what I paid for this little Pico adapter. Now, you don't have to have the Pico scope like I've got. You can use your Snap-on, Autel, OTC, ATS, whatever scope you've got. But this will hook up with a BNC connection. And now we're going to go over, I'm going to switch over my HDMI view. So now I've got my little adapter, which is a little pickup for ultrasonic sensors. Again, $25 or $30, very reasonable. I blow on it. It's picking up the sound of my blowing, my whistling, and that's going to indicate it's probably going to work if the sensor's putting out. So let's check this left rear side now. Let's just say you had a vehicle that didn't have a data bus, uh, smart CAN bus type of a backup aid system. You just had a simple one that made a beeping or a light on the dash or whatever light up when you got close in proximity, and you, you suspect that maybe one of the sensors was bad. So let's check out one of these rear sensors and we'll look at the scope pattern. It's going off, you can hear it audibly in the vehicle. And as I get right on it, there's a lot of amplitude back away about an inch or so, less amplitude. If we just kind of use a little bit of a judgment of about an inch, right there is about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. We can see the amplitude. We go to the next sensor, do the same thing from the same distance, and we get the same signal. So we're looking for the same signal, just like Ryan demonstrated, looking, listening for the same sound. If you have a different sound with a stethoscope or a different signal with the Pico adapter, then you have a sensor that's got problems. Now, some of the problems they can have, besides electronic problems, can be somebody has painted over them, or there's been a lot of dirt and road grime that is packed in between the little gap around the sensor and the actual plug part that snaps into the bumper. That little gap is there for a reason, so that, can, that thing can radiate and make sound. The sounds come out of these things, they bounce back, and it's received back by the sensor, and that's how you know your proximity as you back up the vehicle. So there are some good tech tips on one form of aid. This has been around a long time, and that's backup aids.